Okay, so we are going to be doing a graphite drawing of your figure in action. I picked a vintage roller skater from the 70s. So today is part one of a sustained figure drawing. And what a sustained figure drawing is, is, you know, it's just a little longer than a gesture. So you already have done a gesture of your reference. You have studied it and you have kind of looked at it. So today what we're gonna do is a really light underdrawing of your figure. I'm gonna, I, of course I'm going bigger. I suggest you do too. Um, I gave, I sent big papers home because this drawing is gonna be a little bit longer than, um, you know, 10 minutes. It's gonna probably be an hour or two because you're gonna shade it all you want to um, make it just a little bit bigger. So here I am, I'm gonna find my rib cage. So I picked an image cause I can really see the rib cage um, and I can see the center and you know, you see more of the side here. So I'm gonna put it at a three quarter angle. Um, and then there is a head here. So the neck is here and the shoulder is here. The head is here, and I've got a, and then that neck is here, and then the clavicle is here. There's the side of the body here, and then down here is the abdomen, and then here is the pelvis. And it's interesting because we see the side of the pelvis, and then here is the bone, the the thigh bone. It comes down. And then this comes over and then there's the skate, the boot. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just mapping in where everything is. I'm just mapping it in. Here's the boot. And I will be getting way more in detail as I go on. But right now, I'm just mapping it out. So here she is. She's here is her chest, her waist, shorts, and then her arm comes here, and then she's holding his hand, and she's coming back here, and her elbow is at the waist and then her hand is here. So when I look at her hand, it's down here. So we have a tendency to make everything too small or too big, out of proportion. So use the body measurements itself. So these two hands are like in the same place. So, and now I'm gonna go and kind of map out uh, where everything is. And I'm gonna come in here and then here I am. And then her shorts and there's her leg. Here is her calf. And her calves are kind of short because the, the boot of the, the sock and then the boot of the skate is like here. So there's the sock and then the boot of the skate. And then the boot comes up. And then here's this one, comes down. And when I look across, it's skin, but I don't see that same sock. So I'm gonna just bring, I'm gonna draw what I see here. There's that, I think that might be the sock or like the tongue of the, the skate. And do you see how the bottom of this is where that wheel is? All of those things. Um, we're not doing any shading today. Today, you're just working on the underdrawing. Tomorrow, I'll be going into shading. Um, I'm just analyzing and doing an underdrawing, which I'm using the gesture method for my underdrawing. Man, she's even got a booty bag. Like, this is OG uh, 70s, man. OG, like, seriously, disco. So, um, and then her shoulders. When I look at her shoulder, it's in, I think it's in a little more, like I made it a little big and then there's the shoulder and then the neck is there and then the chin is there. I'm gonna come up 
and then her hair is something like this it comes behind her neck so i'm gonna have to work on that that feels strange to me so i'm looking at the hair this clip here and then there's an ear there and then the neck hair comes behind and then this comes across and then there's the mouth and the nose and the eye and the eye and I'm just right now I'm just checking like I'm not adding any value yet I'm just gonna check to see if my idea is correct it's hard for me to talk and do this drawing so i'm sorry i'm having kind of a moment here and then her hair comes back so there's a muscle here that you can see and then the arm comes in here and then that comes down here like that and then there's that and there's that, there's that, and she's holding someone's hand, and so, and then down here, is, see, I'm looking, I'm also looking at all of these negative spaces, so, really checking to see that I've got it all dialed in and in the proportion that I like. So, and then here is her shorts. Here is her tank top. And, I think, and then she's wearing the necklace. There's that. And then her arm is here. Her thumb is here. She's holding some, this hand. And since I'm just here, I'm going to block in the little boy. Just block him in. I think I might put him in. But I'm just going to quickly kind of put in what I see. So. I'm going to look down here. I'm going to look at the uh, roller skate. Comes down. There's the stopper. There's the wheel. There's the base. There's the other wheel. Mat. Bar. Mat. And then here's this one and this one. Here's that base. Here's that other one and that other one. Stopper. And so then tomorrow we're going to be going into this figure and we're going to start adding the values. Today, all we're doing is this. We're getting it ready and set up. I printed out the picture. Um, for me, that helps me see it. If you want to keep it on the computer, you absolutely can. But you might struggle with um, you might struggle with sorry Okay, so this is what we're doing for today. Tomorrow, 
I'll be guiding you through the next step. So you're gonna need to take today um, after this this tutorial, this quick demo, and then you're gonna have to get your picture out and get a bigger piece of paper and set that up. Still working on her eye, but I'll get that. So that's that's where you need to be by the end of today, somewhere like that.